Get up to rock, get up to burn, stand with the pride and burn for your desire. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to game number three today. The third game of Blood Bowl here on this March Thursday. And uh, boy, having to follow up that last one is, <laughs> that's that's rough. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> we had a fantastic game with everything on the line <laughs> a few minutes ago, and today we're gonna have a we're gonna have a fun game where nothing's on the line. <laughs> Tonight, we're gonna have the Dead Presidents versus McLeod's Ballers, Every Unit 2 versus the Highlander, Undead versus Necro. <laughs> Both of us have been eliminated. Um, uh, the game still counts, of course, you know, you're trying to pick up some SVP, you're trying to put a put some hurt on your opponents for later in the season. <laughs> Let's take a look uh, at the standings. <laughs> SVP versus how much do you need to win by to go to the finals? Uh, another game. <laughs> I need I need a week eight. <laughs> Can you make a week eight happen? <laughs> Masters of Mammal are currently in first place. They will remain in first place. They have a record of six. Oh, and oh, I could have sworn they had a game already. Did they not have a game? Are they playing? Are, Something, something's fishy. <laughs> I think maybe maybe one game's not in the database. <laughs> but uh, I, I think they're 7-0-0, I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, uh, the Poker Ratmen, they are currently in second place. They will remain in second place. The Masters of Mammal and the Poker Ratmen are advancing to the semifinals. Tonight, it's McLeod's Maulers versus the Dead Presidents. Uh, neither team can advance to the semifinals, but if both coaches are going to take their team to the next competition, the Spike Magazine Trophy, I know I am, then I want to be picking up some SPP. I want to be making my team a little bit better. And in Division B, the Dinnerbell Darlings, 7-0-0 in regular play here in the Chaos Cup, 21 points. They've only given up one touchdown. They will be advancing to the semifinals, and after tonight's game between That's Kinda Catchy and Donkey Teeth, what a game it was. That's kind of catchy. It's going to advance to the semifinals. Those are the four teams advancing to the Chaos Cup semifinals. Donkey Teeth eliminated in a nail biter just, just a few minutes ago. <laughs> Man, it was such a fun game. Tonight, the Dead Presidents, an undead team, my team, coming in a TV of 1130. We have a full 11 player roster. We did fire uh, <laughs> JFK and we, he was injured. His AV was down to eight. We replaced him with John Adams. Brand new mummy. Welcome to the team, John Adams. We have two whites, two ghouls, two mummies. The rest are zombos. Three team rerolls, four fan factor. And of course, the Necro tonight. We're going to be up against McLeod's Maulers. The Highlanders team, a Necro team coming in at a TV of 1170. That means uh, 40k in petty cash will be going back to the dead presidents. Not so trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. They're also they too have a full 11 man roster. They have two flesh golems. They have one werewolf, two whites, a ghoul, and the rest zombies. Three TRRs, one cheerleader, one coach assistant, five fan factor. How do the two teams play? Well, neither team has an apothecary. That's because both teams have regen on the field. The flesh. Uh, the flesh columns. The ghouls do not have regen for either team. 
So uh, they are the most fragile players on the pitch with an AV of seven. They also don't have regen. So uh, they're the ones to, to really try to take off the pitch if, if they're thrown out there. But of course, that means those ghouls are going to be, uh, generally speaking, well protected. Uh, you can see the Highlander has leveled up a number of zombies. He has block on a total of six players. That is a that's a great compliment of block. He's also picked up guard on Oswald the Unmatched. That's going to allow him to give the assist to him when he's marked. The Werewolf, that is a player to look out for. <clears throat> the Werewolf has claw. Frenzy has block. Frenzy means he gets to take a second block. In fact, he must take a second block if the first block is a push and he must follow up. Claw is going to give him... Let's let's turn somebody into zombies tonight. <laughs> uh, Klaus gonna give him a uh, plus one strength on the blitz. This werewolf is uh, a devastating piece <laughs> for opponents to deal with. Those flesh golems are great as well. They have stand firm. They have a strength of four. They can exert pitch control very very easily. The whites are decent blitzers. Uh, the ghouls are very fast. They have dodge. His ghoul is a blodger, and, and the zombies are. Uh, they don't look that good. They're you know their stat line is eh, it's not that great but they're so cheap, they're 40k. These are perfect pieces to just mark players with, to get an assist with, to foul with. You can replace them, no problem. Dead Presidents with a similar, but not quite the same roster. They trade in the Flesh Golems for Mummies. The Mummies have a strength of five and mighty blow. You can see Harry Truman's picked up the guard skill. Uh, not a lot of players with block skill on the Dead Presidents team. The two whites, the, the whites are the blitzers for an undead team. They have, they're the only ones that have the block skill, but uh, a decent amount of guard, three players with guard. So uh, we'll be looking to, to group up, get those assists. Undead is typically, I would say, a, a fairly bashy team. Uh, we'll, we'll stay grouped up. You know, we want those mummies to be giving assists to each other, to be mighty blow, punching people in the face. Uh, we've got a number of players with guard. Um, James Madison picked up guard because he rolled doubles, <laughs> but but really, really, he should pick up he should pick up block first. But uh, if he survives and gets the three SVP he needs, he'll pick up block ASAP. You can see Thomas Jefferson's the other ghoul has a strength of four. That's a great uh, a great pickup on that ghoul. He is fragile, but with the strength of four, it means it's just that much harder to get the two die block on him. Uh, the name of the game for uh, really for the undead team is standard running blood bowl right we're gonna bash uh we're gonna cage up we're gonna try to open up a hole uh we're gonna be trying to bash down the other team whereas a necro team has a lot more options because their positionals are different right they have the werewolf in particular this werewolf can open up holes the flesh golem with stand firm can exert pitch control he can leverage those three players uh in in interesting ways to really try to control the pitch to open up a hole exactly where he wants it to be and move this uh, move his cage down pitch. Probably not going to be passing too much with this team either. I doubt we'll see the ball in the air at all in this game. Um, but it is going to be a bash fest. He's got a lot of block and he's going to want to make use of it. I got a lot of guard. I'm going to want to make use of that. I have strength five. He's got strength four. I imagine we're going to be bashing heads. <laughs> Sports Dragon says, let's rewrite American history by making some new presidents. Let's Let's do it. Let's do it. You know what? That's cool. That's cool by me. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, 40K in petty cash coming back to the dead presidents. Um, you know, we have 30K in the treasury. Let's uh, let's dip into that. We'll, we'll dip into that. We'll spend 10K. We'll pick up a babe just in case these ghouls. I have a ghoul with guard. I want these ghouls to be doing some work. We'll pick up a babe in case they get knocked out. Why not? Why not? All right, without further ado, man, I worked all day. I uh, I sit at a desk all day and I worked all day. And then it's, what are we, week or uh, hour five of streaming Blood Bowl, which is super fun, but man, I am tired. <laughs> all right, let's get this final game under, wait, I'm playing the game, I'm not watching, see? <laughs> I'm not even, my head's not even in. Uh, I'm playing, I'm playing, not watching. All right, and McLeod's Mallers are online. They're not on Discord, but that is fine. We'll uh, start the match. All right, uh, McLeod's Mallers, uh, they are, what's the opposite of an underdog? An overdog? <laughs> an upper dog? <laughs> I'm gonna call him the overdog. Oh, he's picking up a babe himself. He's dipping it. He's giving me 90K? Boy, now I've got choices. Ah, oh, do I want the bribe? Or do I want to, do I want two babes? Oh, 
Oh my goodness, do I want the bribe now? <laughs> I mean, I can go ham on fouls. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick up two babes, is what I'm gonna do. Uh, all right, let's do that. We'll dip 10K into our treasury for two babes. Oh, I don't know if that was worth it, but uh, yeah, man, yeah. Boy, I <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Man, if I could take his werewolf off the pitch, that would have been that would have been so dope. <laughs> oh, the Prez Mausoleum. Here we are. Oh, look at these guys. Look at these guys. They don't look a day over 223. Beautiful. Elegant, really. SB Beaver says, why do you, why do you never listen to my advice? It's because I only have one win? Hey man, I only have two. <laughs> McLeod's Wallers, look at this grotesque team. Oh, oh, how old are these guys? 500? Ugh. Here's the coin toss. Um, we'll probably go on defense first. I don't know, whatever. Whatever. Well, we're gonna be on defense for. Um. Do I care about his ghoul or his werewolf getting behind me? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's see who's got SPP. You do. You. You certainly do. Let's put you here. Uh, you have two. You have five. Let's swap you guys around. We'll do that. Um, let's do ghoul here. Do strength ghoul here. Strength. Come on, Thomas Jefferson. Get over. Get over there. Uh, George Washington can go here. Uh, nope. You're going to go here. We'll go here. What, uh, what, uh, let's put you here. Can you here? I think we're fine with this. So he does have speed, right? So typically I would not recommend this. Uh, well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to confirm this, but typically this anchor defense, uh, he's got the speed to, to zoop around me. So, uh, typically, I, I wouldn't want to do this, but uh, I'm on defense first. If he wants to super around me, I'll try to force the uh, force the score and win with a two-one grind. Zoop is that a word? Zoop around me. <laughs> zoop. If he wants to zoop around me. setting up his uh, his uh, offense. Five-man offensive line. He's going to try to block down this line. Here's the kick. I do not have a kicker. Let's, uh, let's just make it even Steven. Here's the kick. That is going to stay the same. Wow, deep kick. Turn one now for the Maulers. <laughs> Sector's loop with the definition of zoop. Thank you. <laughs> SP Beaver <laughs> says he cannot run around you if you take out all his players first. It's very true. S'mores Dragon says, well, when it's a ghoul pace, it's not really zippy. <laughs> Trying to figure out his blocks on the line. He has a two die block on John Adams. He'll get the knockdown. Looking for a massive 10 plus here to break armor. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just hired him. I just, and you break his leg? Never mind. <laughs> 
That's just hazing! Two Nine Black gets a pal here and Harry Truman looking to do more of the same here. One man player advantage for McLeod's Maulers. <laughs> it was a spare leg. <laughs> Don't worry, he's got another one in his backpack. It's fine. Final block on the line here. Two Nine Block against Andrew Jackson gets another pal. This time he's looking for a nine plus. Oh, you killed Andrew Jackson? Man, I haven't even taken a turn yet. You're killing my guys. Can you believe that? Andrew Jackson, you play for me, not for him. He said, yeah, I do play for you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Two man player <laughs> down from McLeod's well. It's failed to pick up. Probably won't spend the reroll here. <laughs> Sports Dragon says, eh, man, he was the worst president. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> uh, oh, oh boy. All right, you stand up. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think I want to take my blitz, honestly. Um, Man, he's gonna mark all of my players. It's gonna be a nightmare. There we go, we're good. Turn two. <laughs> Turn two. That's right, what a turn. <laughs> Looks like he's gonna get the uh, four, five, six, two die blitz on Harry Truman. Here we go. It's gonna be a push result here. Says, get out of my face, Harry Truman. Advances two players, two zombies forward over on the right side of the line. It's gonna advance the rest of the line forward one space. He might try to he might try to set up the werewolf and uh, maybe the number eleven zombie. It's gonna move the zombie forward. Here's the pickup attempt again. Fails again. Doesn't reroll it. Doesn't need to. Can't score if you can't pick the ball up. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, why don't we? Why don't we? Um, who do I want to take this on? Do I want to do that? then Harry Truman's kind of out of the way. Um, let's do, let's do this. I, I really do want to get Mighty Blow off though. Like, boy, I just think with one mummy now, I don't, I don't want to do that. I think we'll do that, um, and then we'll probably do that. To die blitz, here we go. Um, we'll push him here. Stay put. Did I say Undead was a bashy team? 
<laughs> We're a very timid team. <laughs> SPV says, might as well throw all the presents at him. You have unlimited regen. <laughs> Regen's a 50-50. If you take a casualty, it's a, you roll a d6 on a 4+, plus. you don't. <laughs> you just go back into the reserve box. Breaking out a zombie down the left wide zone. Takes two marks with Oswald the unwa unmatched. <laughs> I thought it said the unwashed. Gross. <laughs> Here's the two-die blitz. It's gonna get the knockdown on the number seven zombie. He used to be an elf. I don't know what his name is. <laughs> we don't call him by his name. <laughs> Good armor break, gets stunned. Going for the ball pickup here again. Good pickup this time. All right, now we need to start playing some defense. the werewolf up to his own four yard line here on turn number three. It's 14 seconds left to play. All right, turn three. Um, let's see, where's he going? Nowhere. Where's he going? Nowhere. Um, we're still pretty good here. So I think what we're going to do is go after Oswald, I think. Dude, I blitz. Dude, I blitz. Boy. Boy, oh boy. He's going to go here. Um, I'm going to say put. Yeah, we're going to go here. And then um, we're kind of okay where we are, unless he comes up and takes a bunch of marks. Um, but that's why you're here, buddy. Um, so he's not going to get through here. He's probably not getting through here. He's got to choose one. So let's take this block. Two die block. Boy, another push. Another push. Uh, push him here. Let's um, put. I think we'll do that because the best the werewolf can get is here, and we've got all these guys that can just murder him. He can get, he can get, one, two, three, he can get a mark here with this guy, but I don't think we're too concerned with that. Turn four back to the Maulers. All right, he's sending the zombie down pitch. Suggests that he's going to try to move this ball down to the 12-yard line.
Takes a mark on number eight, JFK. Going for the two die blitz on JFK, it looks like. Here it comes. Two die blitz with the block scale gets a push. <laughs> Not so trusty patches with the emergency GFI warning. <laughs> All right, he's moving the blitzer down pitch. Oswald the unmatch. He's gonna spend the rest of his movement to go down the 14 yard line. We'll see where he ends up, uh, ends up putting the ball carrier. If he puts him down here, we might reset our defense. If he puts him up here, we'll try to force the score. Thirty-eight seconds left in turn four for McLeod's Maulers. Moving a Zombo down the right side of the pitch. That's Baldrick the the barber. Uh, it's good for him that he's still working at his age. Well done. Good for you. So he's going to leave the ball back in this pocket here. So we might try to reset our defense, I think. Tramples that werewolf down pitch. All right, turn four. GFI, you. You there. You there. Um, I can probably put both of you there, right? Yeah, let's put you here. Put you there. Uh, one, what does he have? Six, one, two, three, four, five. Probably that. Um, probably that, maybe this, I'll just get away if I do that, but I could take a zombie off the pitch. Let's bring you, uh, let's bring you here. Let's bring you there. Uh, I don't know where I want the blitz to be. Don't know where I want the blitz to be. Do I want it to be? Do I want a GFI blitz? Maybe I want a GFI blitz. You know what? What's the worst that can happen on a GFI blitz? No, let's not make it a GFI blitz. Well, maybe maybe we make it a GFI blitz. Why not? Why not? Who said it couldn't be a GFI Blitz? Let's do, um... <laughs> let's, um, let's go here. He's got one, two, three. No, let's go here. Um, all right. I think if I GFI Blitz, I can push him in this way. If I don't GFI Blitz, I push him down this way, which I don't want. So I think I'm gonna GFI Blitz. Here we go. GFI Blitz, baby! Did I Blitz? We're gonna get the knockdown. You're gonna go here. And we're going to follow up. Bark Armor got a stun. Alright, he's got a big gap right here to move the ball down. Um, I'm going to dodge him out. I had the reroll to make that safe. And that'll be my turn. Probably should have moved him one more space down, but that's okay. <laughs> 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 
Turn five now for the Maulers. Trying to figure out their actions here. Figuring out where they want their blitz to be. I think this does it, right? No, they're one space away. Two die blitz. They're gonna get a push here on JFK. Probably push them here. Yeah, they're gonna push them here and try to open up this lane to move down. I'll just close the lane off, but that's fine. <laughs> Not so trusty patches says dodgy zombies. What will they think of next? <laughs> One die block on Harry Truman got a pal. How dare you? How dare you? That's offensive. You, you don't you disrespect him with a one die block. Don't you know who he is? He is Harry Truman. Ah, oh, the disrespect. Arrow snot patch, the number one flesh column moving forward. We were trundling down pitch. 19 seconds left in turn five for the Maulers. This first turn of the second quarter. Again, both teams have been eliminated from the Chaos Cup. Not as high pressure as the as the last game earlier, <laughs> earlier in the evening. Oh, that was such a good game. Such a good game. Eight seconds left. Two players left to action. He has his werewolf and he has his ghoul. Shifts the ghoul one space forward to the eight yard line. And that'll be the turn. All right. Well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna GFI Blitz again with Harry Truman. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. But we might GFI him here. No, actually, no, we're gonna stand him up. We're not gonna GFI him there. What we're gonna do instead is, um, Probably, I'll probably take the blitz here. So I'm gonna set up my defense. I'm gonna set it up this way. Yeah, I'll set it up like that. And uh, why don't we go ahead and take this take this blitz. This two die blitz. Um, is it AV8 versus AV8 in block? Two die blitz. We'll get the knockdown. We'll go here, we'll stay put. That'll be our turn, turn six. In the mark on Harry Truman. He can make it a two die blitz on Harry Truman if he wants to. He'd have to pull in an assist over here or here. Good work. Stand up GFI takes the mark on Thomas Jefferson, trying to make a move to score here. That would be a one die blitz with the werewolf. He can make it a two die with uh, Oswald the unmatched. Oh no, he's got claw. It would be a two die blitz. He's got claw. Claws plural, really. Have you seen his hands? Ugh. Decides to take the mark instead. 
And now he'll take the Blitz. He wants uh, the Blitz with Oswald the Unmatched. It's going to be a dodge push. Push him to the sideline. Trying to set up for the Surf here. Takes another mark. This is where he's trying to open the hole. <laughs> trying to open the hole down the left sideline here. <laughs> That's what Chelsea Patches says. Got your cool wetsuit ready. <laughs> He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Marks Harry Truman there. That assist there is preventing uh, preventing uh, the mummy here from getting getting multiple dice. There's the ball carrier forward. A space. All right. Turn six for the dead presidents. Let's um probably don't need these guys over here anymore. Let's see. He'd have to go seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we st we do still need them. We do still need them over there. Um, okay. Let's um go do that dodge. Now do we want to pull somebody over instead? You know what? Let's pull somebody over. Let's pull. Boy. Um, boy. Boy, so risky. Um, let's, um, maybe do that, I think. Let's do it. Two die blitz to start this turn. We got the pow. It's gonna go here. Let me see. Put. And then he'll go here. He'll go. Um, he'll go here. We'll go here. So he can still swing out this way, but we're going to have a turn to try to compensate for that if he does. All right, let's do this dodge. And now... Let's do this dodge. Fair enough. Got stunned. Got stunned. That's a good stun for him. <laughs> or for, uh, for McLeod's Maulers. Turn seven now for the Maulers. <laughs> that was, uh, that was a four plus dodge, but it was actually a 75%. Uh, chance, not a 50 50 chance uh, because of the dodge skill. Give you a free reroll. Failed it both times, however. <laughs> not so trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. S'more Dragon says line dance time. <laughs> Two die block coming back on Harry Truman. Turn seven. The Maulers have to be in scoring position. They are. Come on, Harry. Come on, Harry. That's not it, Harry. That's not it, Harry. That's the wrong die, Harry. <laughs> Good knockdown follows up with uh, Bait the Returned, the number two flesh golem.
Measuring some movement with uh, number one flesh golem, just kind of seeing where he needs to go. Two die block. He's gonna get the knockdown. This will work out due to the block skill. Still has his blitz. That's right, not just for elves anymore. That stun really, really kind of does us in if this blitz works out. Takes a mark with number one. He's going to take the blitz with number ten, it looks like. Here it comes, two die blitz. We need him to stay on his feet. That ain't gonna do it. <laughs> He'll follow up for sure here. Yes, indeed. Well done. Well done. Gonna move the ball carrier to the right side of the pitch. He's gonna take a bunch of marks. the mark. It's the werewolf over to the right. That'll be the end of his turn. Turn seven. All right. We need to make him shift laterally two, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. We need to make him shift laterally three. We really can't. Um, so why don't we... It's probably unlikely that we stop the score. So why don't we... Um, why don't we, um... <sighs> Why don't we... Why don't we... him up. Take a two die block here that leaves this column intact. So let's do that. Two die block. Uh, gotta spend the reroll. Got the pal. We can go here. Let's stay put. Can't come back around this way. So these guys can swing out here. Which means these guys need to swing out here. So we spent our reroll, unfortunately. Um, he'll go here. Um, he can knock him down. I'll get the stand up. I get the two die block here. And come out this way. It's still a dodge. Um, I still think I want this to happen. So let's uh, let's see what happens here. Dodge to the GFI. Oh, this still didn't stop it. Let's do, uh... Stand him up. Ugh, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> there's nothing we can do. Um... We'll just end the turn. I, I, I can't think of anything. That's, I'm so tired. <laughs> We'll take some blocks here. He'll go ahead and score. It'll be one to zero at the half. Two die block. It's a push. <laughs> I can't. I can't make it one one at the half. <laughs> Two die block gets a push here. Really, the only way we stop this is if he gets 
like quad skulls or something. Still has his blitz on the table. He's just going to score, it looks like. Taking no more blocks. Nope, he says, you know what? I am taking blocks. <laughs> Gets the assist on number 11. Two die block. Gets a push. Says, I'll take the push. I won't spend the reroll. I'm not that greedy. <laughs> He still has his blitz. You can get a two die blitz with the werewolf. He can really get two die where two die blitz with the werewolf wherever he wants. He's gonna take the blitz with Boris the Duster, trying to get some SVP on this guy. Two die. That'll work out due to the block skill. Well done. Gets a stun. It's not gonna matter <laughs> unless he fouls. Now there's the score. One to zero. McLeod's Mahlers take the lead in turn eight. Well done. One turn left in the first half, the uh, uh, the, the dead presidents are going to have an opportunity to take some blocks on the line. We'll be giving three players on the line. Might be more if he thinks he can protect them. Three players left on the line. Let's block them all down. Got the guard weight over there. I should probably shift this to the other side, huh? Um, he's got the werewolf over here. I'm gonna stay on this side. I'm gonna stay on this side. Hank the Ranger says, "Thanks for the triple header, header, Ava. You are a trooper. I am uh, not a trooper. I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm the opposite of a trooper. <laughs> uh, but thank you." <laughs> Blood Bowl's a fun game. Uh, all right, so we'll take the, we'll block down the line. Uh, we've got a, a whole contingent over here, just in case we get a riot. Let's see what happens. Here's the kick, doesn't have a kicker. What is gonna change? We're not gonna be able to score. Uh, so let's take the blocks. Two die block, it'll work out. Uh, we'll take that, sure. Got an injury. That's what we're looking for. We'll see if he regens. He does not regen. All right. Uh, I probably should take 
this block first. Should I? Ugh. Man, <laughs> got the pal. Uh, you can go here. Follow up. Five versus three. We need seven. Let's make it seven. Six. Seven. All right. Here we go. Three die block. We get the knockdown. Push him here. Follow up. Uh, boy, do I want to foul that guy? Let's think about it. Do I want to foul that guy? Um, I think I might want to foul this guy. Uh, he can go one, two, three, four. Yeah. Let's put you here. Uh, and then one, two, three, four. You can go here. I fought with James Polk. He has two SPP on him, but that's okay. There we go. Here we go. We're looking for a four plus. Got a KO, but we got called off. Uh. <laughs> well, hopefully he'll stay off the pitch. We'll see. <laughs> 10 v 10 on the pitch going into the second half here. We'll be on offense. Klaus Mahler is up one to zero. Well, maybe 10 v 10. We'll see. Ah. Get out of town. <laughs> SPB versus foul. Why would you foul there? <laughs> that was just dumb. <laughs> I still think it was the right call. Uh, all right, we'll go here. Oh, wait, we're on offense. We don't set up yet. Man, I am. I am. <laughs> I am out of it. <laughs> Signor's loop says, because fouling is fun. No, I think that was the right call. We had, I mean, we were definitely, well, not definitely, of course, but uh, we were going to break his armor. Um, and it's a 1-6, I'm getting called, well, sort of. I'm getting called off the pitch. Um, I think it was worth the risk. If we could have gone out two players, that would have been great. Yeah, he woke up. Like, being down one player, or being up one player is... Fine, but it's not really a deal breaker. Getting two off the pitch is a is a. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say a lot better. It's, it's it's. It's not twice as good. It's more than twice as good, if you know what I'm saying. Like, every every additional player you take off the pitch has sort of an ex. It's not literally exponential, but it it has like a greater and greater effect on uh, how how hard it is for your team to do stuff. You're losing. You're losing pitch control, you're losing positionals, you're losing uh, the ability to, to mark players. All right, now we'll swap you two. Um, it's going to spread out, so let's just... Um, let's just... Um, um, let's do this. We'll do that, and then we'll put a Zombo here, and a Zombo here. Not you, Mr. McKenzie. Not you. The elf goes on the line. Not you, Mr. McKenzie. Uh, where's my other ghoul? There he is. Strike four ghoul, guard ghoul. Uh, guard ghoul can play halfback. Let's put him there. Um, got my whites and a couple of zombies. I'm putting these, yeah, uh, Mr. McKenzie here. And, uh, oh, I'm down a player. <laughs> I was like, where's, where's all my guys? Uh, let's group up our guard players. Let's put you here. He's playing very, very deep. Um, let's put you here. Uh, let's go with this, and we'll block down his line and see where, 
see where the future takes us. Here's the kick. Oh boy, it's a blitz. It's a blitz on a shallow kick. Oh boy. Oh boy. Jeez Louise is right. <laughs> Double GFI Blitz? He says no. <laughs> he says yes! Double GFI Blitz, here we go! One GFI, two GFIs. Gets a push out of it. Spends the reroll, gets a push. He's down to two rerolls now for the rest of the game. Wanted to try to get player advantage there. It didn't work out. Moving his defense forward now. <laughs> Not so trusty. That just said greedy. <laughs> sometimes you got to be greedy. Not that time, <laughs> but sometimes. <laughs> GFIs again with the flesh column too far back deep, and he says, I need to get them up to the line. Succeeds on all three GFIs. He's going to stop this, uh, this block down on the line. All right, let's... Uh, let's... Uh, blippity-blow. How's that sound? You guys want to blippity-blow? Let's blippity-blow. You can come in, uh, maybe the guard guy comes in. Um, but you have blitz, uh, blitz. Gosh, I can't think. You have block. Um, so let's go ahead, yeah, let's pull you in. Let's pull you in. And let's put you here. They think. Stops the flesh golem unless he pulls in a... Stops the flesh golem and that's good. <laughs> Ignore sleep says, I'm ordering t-shirts. Blippity blow! <laughs> Blippity blow! Um, two die blitz, but then... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. You go here. We'll go there. Um, let's go ahead and uh, take this block. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, I'm going to stay put. We probably should have followed up there, but uh, that's okay. So that would have given me the two die blitz and the flesh golem, but uh, that's okay. Uh, you know what? I feel the ball without a reroll. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen, Nuffle? Uh, you can go here, and here we will follow up. Got an injury on Gustav the Dead. Let's see if he stays. Oh, smash collarbone. Let's see if he stays injured. Wow, that's a that's a huge. All right, um, let's uh, let's do this. Take two die block. Oh, uh, it's gonna be a stand firm, so he'll stay put. Well, he might move back. We'll see. Yeah, he decides to move back. He'll go here. Let's take that. Uh, probably should have tied him up, but uh, that's okay. I'm getting very nervous about about uh, these moves. I'm gonna take a two die blitz here. Whew. Get a push. I'll go here. Stay put. We don't have the reroll. Let's see what happens. Yeah, well done. Turn nine for the Maulers. 
<laughs> SB Beaver said I saw dead and got excited there for a second. <laughs> Two rerolls apiece now for each team. Turn nine for the Maulers, their first turn of the second half. Two die block on Andrew Jackson. He'll get the knockdown. That flesh golem's gonna stay put for a turn. Breaks armor. Gets a stun. Got the injury and Stav the dead. We're down to strength two. It probably means he's gonna be sacked. Uh, which is very, it, which is fine for the Maulers, really. 40k for a zombie, just, just fire him and hire a new one. That's a trusty. <laughs> SB Viewer says Jackson will also stay put for a turn. Thank <laughs> the Ranger, not so trusty. Just say Andrew Jackson, Flaxen, Waxen. Sorry, that was last game. There's <laughs> the number four white back into a linebacker position here. Might take the blitz on JFK. Here it comes. Two die blitz on JFK. Double pals. Wow. Doesn't follow up. Still has some movement left with the white. Looks like he might take a step back. He does indeed. Smooth Dragon says, I still want a PPFC fan club shirt. Yeah, somebody get on that. That would be awesome. <laughs> Bait the Returned. He's going to move over to center pitch. Turn Ted for... Turn Ted? Turn Ted for the dead presidents. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. Uh, we got a block here. We got a block here. Do you want to stay at mid pitch? Do you want to stay at mid pitch? Maybe. Let's stay at mid pitch. So we'll take this blitz here. Um, take this blitz to start with. Good eye block. We're going to get the pow. The pow whiz bang. What? Now we'll take uh, take this two die block, get the pal, bing bang boom. Stay put. Didn't break armor. I've got mighty blow. Do you know how mighty my blow? Wait, wait. I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> <laughs> go on. <laughs> you can go here. Two die block. We got the pal. Uh, he can stand firm or not. Probably stands firm here. We'll see. Yes, indeed. Well done. Um, I think that's going to be our turn. Turn 10 back to the Maulers. Boy, my day's not even over. I gotta read them. It just sounds silly, but I gotta read a book. <laughs> I got a book I have to read before I go to bed. <laughs> oh, woe is me. <laughs> a day full of gainful employment and, and fun games. Oh, no. <laughs> and then I have to read a book. Ah! <laughs> Can you believe it?
Yes, B.B. says, just watch the movie. Forty-five seconds left for the Maulers here. They're down to two re-rolls. I sure would like them to use more re-rolls. <laughs> Please, Duffel. Please make him spend more re-rolls. <laughs> SB Beaver cheering for the offense. You're cheering for the wrong side, guy. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for the bits. <laughs> Ten seconds left for the Maulers. They're gonna take the two die blitz on them. Or the one die blitz gets a skull. Thank you, Nuffle. Gets a push out of this. <laughs> thank you, Nuffle. Nuffle, you are kind and gracious. <laughs> Moving the uh, moving the secondary up. The two safeties move forward. Turn eleven now for the dead presidents. Uh, I'll probably take the blitz. So if I take the blitz here, um, I will. Do that. That's true, Nuffle provides until they don't. Take the mark here. We don't need this mark, but I want that positioning. All right, let's take this block. Oh, I am so sorry, Andrew Jackson. You, you are a trooper. You're an all-star. I believe in you. My, my utmost apologies, sir. You'll go here. Two die block. We're gonna get a push. Gonna get a push. Over. It's not gonna matter, but I'm not gonna give you the assist anyway. I'm gonna stay put. Uh, probably take this blitz here, I think. Two die blitz. Pal. He's going here. There's. Damn put. Nuffle, I, I, I know, I know you're the great, you're the best, you're the, the greatest god in the old world, uh, but could you, could you let my mighty blow break an armor at some point, please? You're, you're great. I'm not questioning you. You're, uh, you're, you're awesome. Um, but you know, mighty blow, maybe, maybe, maybe a mighty blow. All right, we'll do that. I think. Turn 11 for the Maulers. <laughs> SP Beaver says, Ava, uh, you might have forgotten. It's very easy to do. Uh, in order to score, <laughs> you actually have to move, move the ball down the pitch. I don't know, it's, it's kind of nice being here at mid-pitch. <laughs> the grass is wonderfully yellow and gross. <laughs> Two die blitz. It's gonna get a knockdown on George Washington. Stop knocking my players down. <laughs> He'll follow up on the ball carrier. We're okay with this. Takes the two die against Andrew Jackson. We really want him to stay on the pitch here. We'll see if he does. He does. Well done. Takes 
the mark on John Adams again. That's what the zombies do. They're there to take hits. You're going to foul George Washington? You're going to foul George Washington? The first president of these great United States? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You think twice about that. <laughs> oh, the audacity. <laughs> Uh, you'll go here. Got the pal. You'll go here. I'll follow up. You, sir, are gonna go, uh, here. You so ooh, hoo, hoo. Ho, 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 ho. calm down, everybody calm down. You're gonna go there. All right, George Washington, you're you're just uh, I kind of want to you're just there to take hits, buddy. All right, let's get this dodge. Good job, Thomas Jefferson. Took the dodge before we took the block because it felt like the right thing to do. Um. Gosh, I keep forgetting about you, Andrew Jackson. I'm sorry, Andrew. I should have actually put him here. But I'm sorry, Andrew Jackson. I don't mean to forget about you. Uh, we're going to go here. Two die block. Double pals. Pick it a pal. Pingo, pango. Let's follow up. Broke armor. Got a KO. That's what we're looking for. And that looks to be our turn. Turn 12, final turn of the third quarter now, McLeod's Maulers. <laughs> S'mores Dragon says I'm really enjoying Luffy Evil. <laughs> Great, thank you. <laughs> I am, in fact, Luffy. <laughs> Pingo Pango for President 2024. <laughs> <laughs> Segnorus looks like more t-shirts! We can have a whole store! <laughs> Takes the mark on this cage. Takes the mark on the front right uh, front left corner of the cage on Mr. McKenzie. Mr. McKenzie used to play for a team I don't remember. <laughs> one of one of the teams. <laughs> but now plays for my team. Oh, he played for the Brewmeisters, that's right. And now he's a president. <laughs> Takes the mark on the front right corner of the cage as well. Yeah, trying to get get all these assists, trying to tie these players down, trying to break this cage. Oh, oh, you're a zombie and you GFI'd? GFI should be should be five plus for zombies. <laughs> Two die blitz on Harry Truman gets a push. Is he going to re-roll it? No. He's got to follow up due to Frenzy. Uphill block. Well, it's going to have to be a push. <laughs> Unless he re-rolls it. <laughs> he re-rolls it. It's definitely a push. There's the push. Oh, yeah, they do. Skaven players do, do use a, a little, like a, like a little, like, launcher tube thing. Signor's loop says GFI reserved for the living. <laughs> I think once you're once you're dead, you don't want to go for it anymore. <laughs> you're done going for it. <laughs> Followed up this time. We can follow up there. One die. Ah, oh, doesn't have the reroll. That's gonna be a turnover. All right. I think we murder now, right? Let's murder. Um, well, let's let's be safe first. <laughs> let's be safe first. Uh, you 
uh, you are going to two die blitz here. Two die blitz, uh, you'll go here. Stay put. We got a Zombo, he's gonna one, two, three, four. So you're going here. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> so I guess you're going here, buddy. You're going here. You're going to have to go here. Get this werewolf out of my face. Nobody wants a werewolf in, in their face. Follow up. Got an injury. Oh, praise be to Nuffle. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, you can go. Oh, it's a GFI. Ooh. Um, Pick three die block here. Pow. You can go here. Follow up. Got a KO on Boris the dead. He's a dead man. That's what he... Oh, I really want a GFI. Uh, well, my mom always told me, if you want a GFI, just GFI. Right? That's what she said. That's what she always told me. You can stand back up. That's what she always told me. You're gonna dodge out here. Um, and I think we are probably good. I would like to do that, but I don't think that's a wise decision. He's got this guy. I'll take a three die on my strength, whatever. I didn't even think about it. I didn't. Even, I was. I was trying to figure out if I was safe, and I was like, ah, whatever. <laughs> Two die block to start things over. That is going to be a turnover. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, turn fourteen. Let's go here. The <laughs> shambling fun dead. <laughs> I don't actually need to close this cage, but uh, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. Um, and then what I'm going to do is this. Did I block? Oh, I'll spend the reroll. Ugh. Feels like a dirty spend. Uh, he'll go here. We'll follow up. And then this blitz. Should have gone after the ghoul, but I'm afraid of the white more. Do I block with the pal? We'll go here and we'll follow up. Got an injury on Conrad the Butcher. He's been butched. <laughs> is, that a, is that a thing? Is that a verb? You've been butched. <laughs> All right. Uh, then you can go. <laughs> You've been butched. Uh, you could go here. You can go here. <laughs> you, really, you really butched him. <laughs> uh, you, you could go here. <laughs> Turn 14 for McLeod Smallers. <laughs> Smart strike. It's like, I, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that means what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. <laughs> oh. 
You've been butched. <laughs> All right, he's gonna try to try to get a player back, back here. <laughs> try to force some some action. Under a minute to play. He's got a plus three dodge. He's down six players, so... Oh, failed the dodge. So a five-man player advantage currently for the dead presidents. So we're going to park... We're going to park right here. You've been butched. <laughs> Be daring block first? No, I'm good. Thanks. You can't get anywhere. You can kind of get somewhere. <laughs> Sectors looks like, we're not putting that on a t-shirt, all right? <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's take some blocks. Oh, I want to take out Casket Chewer. Give me Casket Chewer. Oh. Push you here. We're gonna follow up. I'm gonna try again, casket chewer. I'm gonna try again, casket chewer. Yeah, that's right, casket chewer. I'll follow up. Uh, I got a stun out of it. He's effectively out for the rest of the game. Um, I don't want his mighty blow <laughs> to hit me, so we're just gonna try to dodge. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Uh, we'll skip it. <laughs> Rather the normal knockdown than the mighty low knockdown. Turn 15 for uh, the Maulers. What? Oh, boy. I haven't even been looking at the turns. I'm like, do I have any turns left? <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right. Fail the G. <laughs> <laughs> Failed the dodge. You can't get by. You can't get by Harry Truman. <laughs> He's he is renowned for his ability to keep you ensnared. We'll just score. We're not going to take any blocks. <laughs> it's the score. One to one. The game's tied. One turn left unless there's a riot. Smart. SPB, thank you for the bits. S'mores Dragon said, that's the fastest last quarter I've ever seen. <laughs> we'll see if he gets back any KO'd players here. He does! He gets back both! Well done! Well done! <laughs> All right, uh, we're down a player. He's down three. Um, let's... No. Yes. Just in case he gets the riot, I'll have these guys mobile, these guys not. Now let's make sure that it's the right SPP. Uh, sure. Uh, let's give him... Do I want to give him Zombos? Well, if I put the mummies on the line... Uh, I'm going to leave the mummies on the line. So he's going to set up on offense. <laughs> SP Beaver says, I've noticed turns go by faster when you have three actions to make. <laughs> so he's going to set up here just in case there's a riot. Does he have like a one turn? 
You know what? If he gets a one turn, he deserves it. Well done. Well done if you get a one turn. Here's the kick. Quick snap. Gets to move everyone into an adjacent square. This might help with a one turn, honestly. <laughs> What would he need for a one turn? Oh, he does, his ghoul's not on the line. He can't one turn. His ghoul's on the MA7. He would need uh, he would need four four pushes for a one turn with his ghoul. This game's gonna end in a draw. But he's gonna, uh, the Mauler's gonna have some blocks to take here. Final turn of the game, turn 16. Going for the ball pickup. They'll try to pick up some SPP with a pass, perhaps? So there's plenty of movement left with this cool. Probably should have taken the blocks first, but uh, maybe he wants to level up. Uh, Cascature. Here's the uh, quick pass. Failed the pass. That's the game. One to one. This game ends in a draw. But my record for the Chaos Cup is dead even. <laughs> GG's to the Highlander. That was fun. Whoo. What a long day. <laughs> one to one, the final. Uh, wow, I thought the ball was always in our hands the whole game, but I guess that's just not the case. Uh, not a lot of ball possession. <laughs> good good day for the ground, eh? <laughs> SPP for the game. The Clouds Ballers are going to pick up 12. The Dead Presidents are going to pick up 16. Uh, I'll take that. <laughs> I'm down with that. Who are the SPPs? Mr. McKenzie, you are an SPP. You know, I was going to call him an SPP <laughs> and an MVP. You're also an MVP. Well done. Aristot Patch, he's the MVP for the McLeod's Maulers. Uh, both these players will level up. Getting a level up on a flesh column is very, very good. All right, let's take a look at the schedule <laughs> and then leave. <laughs> All right, there are two games left in regular play here in the Chaos Cup. Uh, next up will be... The Masters of Mammal versus Damaged Dragons. That will be unaired, but that will be tomorrow night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's El Nubarino versus War Horseman. Uh, that will be Dark Elf, right? Dark Elf versus uh, Lizards. Uh, a fun game. I'm sad I'm going to miss it. Uh, one final game that may be streamed, depending on when it gets scheduled. In fact, it will most likely be streamed. Will be the Baltimore Blitzers versus the Brewmeisters. OG Flavortown versus Malik. Uh, that's going to be Elven Union, or High Elf, I think. High Elf versus Chaos Dwarves. Um, that, that has yet to be scheduled, but, uh, but when it gets scheduled, you'll be able to check it out and get alerted to those schedules on our website at mammal.club. That's M-A-M-L dot C-L-U-B here on Twitch or on our social media pages on Twitter, Mastodon, and Facebook. You can listen to our podcast, Mammal Talk, and watch previous games on our YouTube channel. Play Blood Bowl! What? What a fun game this is! You can be a dead president, <laughs> and, and you could you could be... A necro team and an undead team beating each other up and then r resurrecting yourselves. <laughs> it's just so much fun. <laughs> you can play Blood Bowl via Blood Bowl 2 on Steam. You can play Blood Bowl via Blood Bowl 3 on Steam, sort of. <laughs> and in tabletop form at your friendly local game store. Uh, until next time, everybody, take care and enjoy the rest of your Thursday evening. <laughs>